So we decided to go thrifting today. What are we doing, Dave? We're going to thrift the day away. We're going to thrift the day away. Right. We feel the siren call today of the waterfront mission in Fort Walton Beach. So we're just going to stick to Fort Walton today. Off we go. My blood of Lilith shirt on today. Um, I got my my lucky thrifting shoes on today. My dance goes. My favorite jeans. I think it's gonna be a good day. So check out what we find. We got fifty percent off all green. They put a lot of the nicer things up here in the front, in this little front section. It's a good area to check out. Right away, I see this, but it's it's a lazy season. But they're wanting thirty dollars for it. This could be something good. Very heavy. It's a little bit of gold fuming on it. There's another Villaroy and Bach teacup for five dollars. And there's a matching creamer for nine dollars. A Hawaii mug for two ninety nine. Some cranberry glass. What do we have here? Can't quite make that out. Nice little hand turned bowl. <laughs> Character glassware. Remember these? <laughs> it's the hamburger. Got some pillows to look at. This is a nice tapestry. Keep warm pillow. Price is two ninety nine. It is by Soft Impressions. That's one to think about. Let's see what's over here. Christmas is for the dogs. Merry Christmas. Christmas pillow, Christmas pillow. Another little Christmas pillow. It's cute. Quilted pillow back there. Sorry. Mm. This looks like something spooky. I kind of like that one. That looks a little dark cottagey almost. 
And it is the other brand. I don't see a brand on that one. So I'm sitting over here looking at pillows and I keep bumping into something and I look down and I realize there's a whole bag of fabric scraps at my feet for $6.99. I think there might be some like fat quarters and things in here, but there's also um, maybe some vintage linens and things. So I'm definitely picking this up. This is the first thing we're putting in. The so there is like a ton of furniture in here right now. Their prices on furniture is real good, but um, sometimes it can be a little bit on the worn side. So I take it with a grain of salt. But I really love this piece here. How nice would this be refinished? It's only $39, y'all. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is really great. I would be real tempted to say, Dave, get the boy. <laughs> oh, it would be super nice refinished, I think. Oh, my room. Uh, yeah, for or replace my dresser. But look, there is some condition issues here. That's busted. But I like it. It's definitely got kind of a mid-century 80s vibe to it. And it has a matching hutch here. That's kind of nice. All right, so I've made it back to the hardwoods. Can, honey, can you um, man the basket for a few minutes while I parouse the shelves here? Right away, I noticed this nice little ceramic tile of an angel here. Angels do keep popping up for me somehow or other. This one's a dollar ninety nine. It is by Kay's collection. I think it is actually plastic though. It's it's a fool ya. It's made to look ceramic. It's not. And there's a little chip chippy off the edge of it. Plastic. Plastic. See if we can find any more cool wise men like we did the other day. I'm not up on my wise men. I gotta watch Danny the niche lady a little more. <laughs> this is really cute. Look at this cute little stylized snowman. Right away I'm noticing he's got some detail to him. He's a dollar ninety-nine. I may look him up. Although it looks like uh, he's busted. His his little broom or whatever. It's busted off. A bearded man. He could either be the Lord or he could be a hipster. I'm not sure which. <laughs> and now we're into the Valentine's Day section. Valentine's just isn't as big a holiday. I know they sell a lot of stuff for Valentine's, but it's just not as big as Christmas. I don't know if it's something I'm really interested in for resale. Got some um, shoe trees here. I um, watched Tiffany Thrifting Vegas pick a pretty nice pair of shoe trees in a video not that long ago. Oh, check out this cool little guy. He's only $2.99. He is ceramic. $2.99. I like him. Look how cute, Dave. Look at this little guy. He's ceramic. $3. Cute little bird. I didn't really look at the coffee cups too closely up here. I may come back and Google search a few of these. We'll see if it doesn't get too busy in here. That one is design something. Gibson. I was making my way this way. There's a little mushroom thing. Rain cloud fountain, mushroom. It's real small though. It's kind of lightweight. This is cool. 99 cents. Let's see if there's any condition issues. It's got a little bit of 
dirt here that I think will wash. <laughs> yeah, I saw the poop pillow. <laughs> I think that's kind of a five below item. But this is interesting. I really like this. This is going in the cart for 99 cents, y'all. I can clean it up for sure. Oh, this is really nice. It's like a little Air Force plaque. High flight. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth. Oh, uh, I remember my dad reading that poem to me because my dad was Air Force. And uh, for $2.99, I cannot pass that up. That has to come home with me. Yep, that's sentimental. Proud member, AFSA. This is another Air Force thing. It's modern though, it's acrylic. Um, it's not terribly old. It does take a battery. I like, I like it kind of shiny, but I'm gonna leave that. Here's a gravy boat for $4.99. Cotton Stem Company, something very farmhouse looking. Not my genre, not my thing. But if it's your thing, get down to the mission. Hershey's Milk Tin. This is an onion keeper. This might actually be nice to pick up for the house because um, I passed one up the other day and I kind of regretted it. They're nice, they've, they're ventilated. Put in there, you put your of? onions in there. Right. Problem is, it's kind of small, and yeah, we actually cool. buy a lot more onions than that. We're kind of onion happy. This is a little tripod for a camera. Camera. All right, we're coming back along. More hard goods here. All right away, I see a bunch of interesting things to look at. So I am planning a little dark cottage sale. I hope it to be my first whatnot sale towards the end of summer. I am collecting little things that I think look like that. This little box does, but it's not really high enough quality for me. This is interesting. This, I believe, is a whirling dervish. It does have... Um, the sickle moon on it it's 99 cents it's not heavy it's it's not brass so i'm gonna leave that here's the serenity prayer and um i'm gonna leave that for someone else because um that's a lovely item for someone in recovery a bunch of little not so expensive teddy bear figurines and not so expensive resin Piece. A lot of little little pieces here. This is like a kid's toy. It's not Vaseline glass. Some pretty little pictures for the shelf. I am looking for curiosities. Here's a lovely hand-painted bottle that someone did. It is vintage for sure. Hand-painted. $1.99. It does have some condition issues. Bee Harbor collection, a little picture, a little blue picture, a single coaster. There are some more coasters down here. There are a couple marble coasters. Those are nice, very heavy. Lots and lots of coasters. Nothing that's really standing out to me though. This is, I think this is one of those things you pop a wine bottle in for the table, $2.99. It's like a pewter. Cute little heart-shaped box, velvet. It's a fun little hand-painted bowl. Oh, look at this cute little mouse. Not a very heavy mouse, but so whimsical. This bell does have its ringer. It says Japan on it. $2.99. There's another little bell for $2.99.
A little soggy cup, it looks like to me. Here are some lovely little ceramic shell place cards. Those are fun. Let's see. $6.99, though. They're a bit expensive. A little carousel pen. Spoon rest. Tile. Fresh fruit. Dishwasher safe. And Nautilus, dollar forty nine. That's a tin box. A little cedar box from the Grand Canyon. Hmm. These little stone tiles are kind of fun. They're two ninety nine. They're heavy though. They're so heavy. I would. I don't know if I'd want to ship them. They're probably at least two pounds a piece. Let's see, there is a name on the edge though. Hmm. I can't make that out. Robin something. Hmm. I don't see any condition issues. Maybe I'll look these up. Okay, so I stand corrected. These are a definite pickup. I'm going to get that. And we're going to get this one. Let's check it over real good. Same maker, Robin Rab. R A A B, Robin Rob. And they're calling them Bass Relief. So I like these very much. These are more coastal cottage. Oh, look what they have over here. Who's that? G. George. St. George. Oh, that's from St. George Island. That's close by. A little souvenir piece. Okay. What else they got here? Some little apples and cherries. Cranberries. We have these cool grapes. They're $10 though. It's way too much. I won't do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is some kind of palm tree setup. Oh, here's a very dark academia looking clock. It says Renaissance. It says okay on the sticker. Not sure what that means. Let's take a look at it. I mean, it's got a little bit of an embossed leather outer thing going on, although I think it's printed. It is a, a battery situation. What's the price on it? Where's the price tag? I don't see a price. The price has been peeled away, y'all. This one's $6. I'm going to pop it in the cart and ask. Because, I don't know. I think that could go dark ac academia. Okay. And I see down here, for $2.99, this really cute little piece of Raku. That is a definite must. Yes, we're putting that in the cart. Really? Right on. Raku. Who knew? Who knew Raku? <laughs> Look at these little people here. Oh, they're so heavy. These are cast iron. They're kind of like the Chinese Seven Immortals or something. I, I think they all kind of doing the same pose. I don't know about those guys. Here's some lovely little <laughs> crackle finish um, votive holders. A nice big margarita glass. Yep. Good end. All right, I'm doubling back now. Um, this is the metal section. Right away, I'm seeing this kind of looks like an ice bucket, doesn't it? It definitely is an ice bucket. Yep. Sorry, there's the view. 
It's very mirrored. This is, to me, this is so 1970s. It's only $3.99, y'all. Let's have a look inside of it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This one does have some condition issues. See here? There's some cracking on the mirror bits on the bottom. I like that it's got its lid still. It is by George Briard. I recognize that name. So I'm going to put it in the... Oh my, here is a very pretty little etched mirror hook of some sort. You see me in there? There's me with my thrift look. This seems new. It is not vintage, although it really looks vintage. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh, Dave, what did you find? Those are cool. Hold on to those for a second. Hold on, I'm coming over there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for hand blown glass, guys. I'm sorry, I just am. I see some pieces down here that I need to swing back and investigate too. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's turning out to be a good pick here at the mission today. That's the only two you found? $2 a piece. How much? Two bucks. I'll look for it. Three, three dollars each? Two bucks. Three, two ninety-nine. So they're three dollars each. Yeah, I say let's get these. These are super fun. Are there any condition issues besides the fact that they're ultra melty? <laughs> Is this one cracked or anything? No, let's pop those in the cart. Those are unique. Very unique. They might make nice vases. It would be a great vase for the table for the next like margarita party. Well, while we're over here. Sand out his little piece of lusterware, but it's not old, old. Mm. I kind of like what do we got down here? That's one of those lightweight things that goes on the wall or the ceiling. A trio of little vases. A little worship wear on the wreath. I like this stem right here. Because once again, it's very dark cottage. And I'm digging it. Oh, it's a long thing. $3.99 though. No. I don't know. One, two, three. They were originally $3 a piece. $3.99, I don't know. It's just, that's a little too close to retail. This is cool though. This is a macaw feather. I don't see a price on it, but I'm gonna pop it in here. I'll take the macaw feather for sure. Here's a cute little silk arrangement, $1.99. I like that for a buck 99 to pop into a little vase of some sort. I think there's two of them. This one, also a dollar ninety-nine. I'll take both of those. Might be something I can dye for the dark cottage. All right, swinging back around, and I noticed this. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's only four ninety-nine. I really like it. It's very spooky looking. It is so big, however, should I get it? All right, so I looked it up and they're calling it like dark gothic. I don't know who makes this one, it's just made in China. But yeah, I'm gonna take a chance on it. It's very heavy, but I think it'll add a wonderful ambiance to my whatnot sale that I have coming up. So, yep, in the cart it goes, <laughs> into the cart.
Another pair of little candle holders. Yeah, I kind of rushed through this section because Dave found them. Um, that was a good find. What do we have here? Light, very light. This looks vintage, but um, it's only 99 cents, but I'm not really collecting stuff like that right now. Cute little fish, um, tea light holders. Those, those are really cute, super cute. Would you buy these? This looked interesting to me. This is heavy. It is a candle holder. I do not see a mark. I think it's just regular glass. It's just a little heart-shaped one. Definitely worth checking out though. What do we have here? A couple of candle holders. I already have something like this. I'm gonna leave those. I learn new things every day doing this. What are these? Elegance mercury glass candle holders. A set of six, new in box. Yeah, I'll take those. I mean, mercury glass is um, pretty cool. And to find them new in box like that, I do like that. Oh, look here. There's a colonial candle. It's, it's very um, sticky. It's in its box. We're gonna look through the art real quick. Here's a cute little trio of coastal shadow box scenes for $1.99 each. This looks like something vintage. Lady slipper for $1.99. I think it's just a print. It's not an actual original drawing or anything. Gather. Cute sentiment. Oh, somebody fly fishing. That's nice. Very outdoorsy. These are actually really nice. Oh, look what Dave found. A vintage Jordache tapestry bag. Good pick, Dave. Put it in the cart hunt. How much is it? $7.99? Pricey. Yep. Well, we'll look it up. Put it in the cart for now. I am... Oh, look. There's a bunch of photographs someone took in Alaska and had put onto canvas. Oh, a diamond painting. That's very fun. $1.99 Southwestern. A oh, little sentiment about Nana. Mother's Day is coming up. Y'all, don't be forgetting. You don't want to leave your mamas out of the loop. I let, left my mama out of the loop by accident because she lives in England. And if I don't catch her on the first Mother's Day, I catch her on the second one. <laughs> She always feels bad because all the other mothers are getting flowers on Mother's Day. And my sister and I often will forget that Mother's Day comes early in the UK. Cute little, somebody's framed a card here. All right. Man, nothing super like jumping out at me. There's a bunch of little frames over here. I am still hoping to find a good deal on some smaller frames for some projects I want to do. This is one of those like uh, fake stained glass ones. I might look this one up because stained glass is starting to trend. Let's have a look at that one. And a couple picture frames that I like. This one's $1.49 and that one's $1.99. Price is right on those. I'll pop those in the cart. Those will be good for my projects. I just found the mother load. There's more picture frames here. I've walked right by them. So I'll, I think I'm going to find what I'm looking for here. I found a bunch of cross stitch. <laughs> like I need more bowls. What's this one? It's pretty. Botanic 
So these were going to pop into the cart. They are Villaroy and Bop. If I can find a nice safe place for them. There we go. We got them right there. All right. Still looking. I do see some Ray Dunn here. These are big, heavy Ray Dunn. Oh, here's a little cute little piece of Pyrex. How much is that one? $4.99. It's brown. I'll have to look it up to know for sure if I should pick that up or not. I mean, it's still here, so maybe not. But then I did just find Villaroy Bach just sitting here. What's this? Somebody's little project piece? Look at the cute little points. Uh, oh, it's on Gibson. So that's Phyllis. <laughs> I like this is a little bit on the dark cottage side. This could be fun for a dark cottage sale. What have we got here? Who is that by? Royal Dalton. <laughs> well, there's a name we know. Okay. For that reason alone, I'm not even going to look it up. I'm just going to pop it in the cart because um, I think it will end up in my dark cottage sale. And let's look. I have to put my readers on to see who this one is by. This is by Coleridge. Also Royal Dalton. Okay. We got a couple end caps to check out. Oh, I didn't even make it by the basket, basket aisle yet. I'm just... I'm finding so many things. Here's a pretty little vase. This is not so expensive. Very pretty though. Would be great for a shabby chic um, themed sail or booth. Little eyelash glass, great smoky mountains, gentle moons, old fashioned service accessories. Some girls getting their shop on. <laughs> I do kind of like this. It's $2.99 though. What's it say? Shopping is my cardio. Okay, like if I could get away with that, my walking coach. <laughs> I don't think she would um, approve. I don't think she would say that shopping counts as cardio, you guys. <laughs> I did have to go out and run this morning to do some cardio because I am training for a 5k <laughs> I'm super ambitious that way <laughs> oh yeah let's work full-time while starting a business and start training for a 5k that's not type a at all is it that's a nice little shot glass that one looks interesting this is a juice glass cheers to 21 years I've seen those before Here's a lovely a dram, I guess. A wee dram would fit in that. There is a gold schlager glass. I don't know enough about barware. That's something my sister could really profit at. I think because she is a, a former bartender and she probably knows a lot more about those brands than I do. She could probably write up some really good... Um, eBay listings and things based on her barware knowledge alone. That's an awful pretty little glass. Alright. <laughs> Lots of glasses to look at here. Oh, here's a couple of Crown Royal snifters. These are actually kind of nice. I do kind of like these. $1.99 each. Not sure if they're worth anything. But I think I'll pop them in the cart. Oh, I say $2,000 on them. They're like Y2K ones. Hmm. They're just not generic enough. Okay. This is something, but it's worn. The gold is coming off of it. I'm leaving it for Walton. This is really nice. Very heavy. Um, 
and also etched, but it's glass, it's not crystal. I've seen these before, and these actually check out as being worth something. Look at that pattern. Look at how it moves with the light. I do like these. I think I looked at a pair of those at Goodwill recently. Actually, it was like a set of six of them, and I almost put them in the cart, but I was already all carted up. If you know what I mean, like if I was getting cart full at that point. I mean, I do make a paycheck every week, but <laughs> at some point in time we have to put the brakes on things. I got to actually get some more listing done. What's this? This actually looks like a nice little piece of lusterware. The question is, is it new or is it Memorex? I think this looks more like a new piece. What do you guys think? It's $1.99. It caught my eye, so I'm going to put it in the cart. Yeah, let's find, see if I can find a nice place for this one to go. As it is glass. There we go. Right. Let's just check the mugs. Checking the mugs. Ah, those look Scandinavian. And they actually, I mean, they have kind of a Scandinavian name too. But they're lightweight and I think they're modern. I have picked Odajiri out of this honey hole here at the waterfront mission before. There's a nice big fat one. This would almost be good size for kitchen utensils. Big mugs can sell well. People do like them. What else we got over here? Remember these old Don't Spill Me mugs from the 80s? Those are definitely 1980s, I think. That was all the rage back then. Put them up on the dashboard. Everybody's dad had one. Oh my God. Look at him. He's a ben cool Benjamin. That's what we're after today. We are after some cool Benjamins today. I don't know if we found any, though. Know. <laughs> Gibson. Kahlua. Oh, yep, Pyrex. That's just a measuring, a measuring glass. Oh, that was so pretty. This one says, find your voice. Oh my gosh. Made in China. It's just a very pretty mug. Not worth a lot, but it's pretty. There's a cool little rainbow mug back here. I think I've seen another one up in here somewhere. There's the one we can put it next to. Yeah, let's put these two together. Pride season is coming up. Someone might pick those up for their pride party. Uh, what we got here? Oh, this is cool. This is a cool little cat mug. Made in Japan, $1.49. Yes, this ticks all the boxes. Cats are always cool. All right. I'm pretty satisfied with that. <laughs> yeah. Just seen this. Nice little pepper shaker. Copper and brass. Vintage. $1.99. And sitting on top of this awesome looking trivet. $3.99. Made in India. That's blue. Today is, was today blue or green? Yeah. Green. Green. Yeah. <laughs> All Thank green you. tags half on. Thanks, green. Thank you. Thank you for that. A <laughs> dollar ninety nine. Yeah, I haven't seen any green tags yet. Here's one. This was a dollar ninety nine. What is this though? Is it just like a little riser, a little shelf? You could put things on for a dollar. I'll take it and find out. Well, is it green tag? No, it's red tag. 
<laughs> yeah, I've got a bunch of trays already. A little birdhouse. That's pretty cute. Dollar ninety-nine here. What is this? Oh, this looks like a little piece of holly hobby. Huh? That looks like something from the Dogon tribe of East Africa. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is. I'm just kidding. I'm being facetious again. Look at this cute little black basket, though. I like her. She's got a few little condition issues on her. How much is she? $1.49. Yeah, that one's kind of cute. Tisket, a tasket. A little cottage basket. And there's a nice big basket. Baskets can surprise you sometimes. Sometimes you don't think they're nothing and they turn out to be something. And sometimes they're just nothing. <laughs> Much ado about nothing. This nice big Easter basket here. It's just about Easter and... $3.99 for this lovely big basket would be great to stuff with toys for a little one, wouldn't it? It's heavy too. It could go very shabby chic, so you could save it and use it around the house. Now I just seen this. This one is 99 cents. It looks like, I don't know, it looks kind of like raffia. I'm going to take that one. So just coming by the blankets and looking through here and I saw these and I thought they looked a little pilled but I know that they're what we would call a car blanket and then I flipped it over and seen that so I think they're both the same brand yes I'm gonna take both of those for $3.99 each so coming along here and I see this and I can tell right away that this is Beauty and the Beast blanket. How much is this one? $3.99. And she's obviously very vintage, but she is Disney. And I'm going to take that too. We'll see. We'll clean it up. If nothing else, it will go to my granddaughter. Her mama liked Beauty and the Beast. Oh, look, there's Jasmine. Oh, we got all the princesses here for $2.99. I think this might be a towel though. I can't, I know that's like one of them little bath wraps and it's missing the snap. Sometimes the things you don't think, like I say, better more alarm. Oh, nope, that's just a sentimental sayings on it. It's like new though. Mm. Oh, there's another one popping out at me. This could be a vintage car blanket. It definitely looks like a fringe blanket of some sort. Oh, it's lightweight. Very, very lightweight. Uh, almost feels like a pashmina, but it's a blanket. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a, all right, we have some tapestry style fringe blankets to look at here. This one is for Ford trucks, F series. I know there's people that are like serious about their trucks. So this one's got snowmen. I actually had this one once upon a time. A little country cottage, kind of primitive. Uh, another cat blanket. That one's got cats some other stuff on it this one seems kind of cute what's on this one this one looks kind of country hmm $3.99 oh there's angels what's it say it's about good friends on it <clears throat> and why not $3.99. I'll take it. They have to start a coastal Christmas sale. Look at that pillow. It's only $2.99. <laughs> Look at the little seahorses on there. 
I do like that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to pick this one up. So y'all, if, um, anybody you know is looking for formals, if you got any girls or neighbors whose girls are needing for prom, send them over here to the mission. I mean, here's a gorgeous dress for $10.99. Look at there. And look at here. I mean, this is like a, something a mermaid would wear. <laughs> How pretty is that? It's teal. It's got all kinds of pretty things on it. Look at this nice little velvet thing. A lot of, lots and lots of formals that they have on this whole rack right here. There's a bunch of things in here that would fit the bill, I'm sure, for anybody that's looking for something right now. If you wanted to go a little more vintage style or something like that, that's just dreamy. Send them over here to the mission. Okay, y'all, time for the haul. This is the haul from um, Waterfront Mission today. This, I actually had to split today into two separate videos. So there's um, Waterfront Mission, and then I went um, by a new thrift store over in Mary Esther Cutoff. So I'm gonna post this video first and then stay tuned next week maybe for the other video. All right, you guys, I found so much good stuff today. I can't even, I mean, I can't even. Um, so jumping right in, I'm going to post, of course, at the end of this video, the comps that I found on eBay and what have you. Um, yeah, this is some good stuff I got today. And we're going to go through that fabric bag together because I'm discovering treasures in there as I go. And I thought it'd be more fun for you guys to watch that. So I've got the first thing up here is this um, brand new set of Elegance um, Mercury, Mercury Glass Votive Holders. I don't know if you can see how shiny they are. These are super great for Halloween, for Christmas. Um, so those are selling brand new on, um, Amazon for around $60. I probably won't list them for that much on eBay, but I thought it was not bad for $3.99. Um, so we're going to set that one over here. I found this really great little African beaded mat. As far as I can tell, it's African, maybe Zulu. It's just a little one. You see how it compares the size of my hand. It'd be a nice coaster or a trivet under a, a lovely piece of art or something. Um, it's worth about $14 or $15. I found uh, some popsicle sticks and a um, piece of blank wood for $0.99 cents a piece. And I'm going to hold on to these for Lisa and Lucy because they're going to come visit soon. So... Lisa, I'm starting to look for pieces of bare wood for Lisa to take back with her for her business she has where she does pyrography. This was a cute little raffia basket. I can't really find any comps on it. It's very lightweight, but it does seem to be vintage. I'm valuing this at around $12, and it might show up in one of my et or whatnot sales. Oh, my gosh. I found these really cute little silk flower bouquets they probably came from flower girl or bridesmaid bouquets um, they were a dollar 99 each and i really like them for a cottage core style um, sale something maybe for one of my whatnot sales i might turn them into um, something spectacular to sell on whatnot I found this excellent little, another little funky treasure chest. This one is it's not particularly well made, but it looks very like Pirates of the Caribbean to me. Um, I love it. It's kind of dead man's chesty. And um, I'm starting to collect things to do um, a whatnot sale later on in the year. Not just a dark cottage sale, but I'm also wanting to do a dark coastal and I think this looks very dark coastal, you guys. So that was a fun pick. $2.99, I paid for it. Not sure how much I'll sell it for. Probably somewhere in the $15 to $20 range. I found this right away and it made me tear up because this, my dad was Air Force. And um, this is the High Fight poem. And um, I'm not going to recite the whole poem because it's kind of long. But, you know, if you want to look at it up, just look up High Flight. 
and he used to recite that to me when I was a little girl. I found a couple of picture frames, uh, pretty nice ones. Actually, I found quite a few little picture frames over here for the projects that I've had in mind to work on. Uh, so those are going into my um, projects. Now this was a gift from the neighbor. This is a little metal etched bird painting. I'm not sure what it's worth. I'm still researching that. This is um, a resin um, religious themed picture frame. It is by the company, by Faith is the name of the company by Demaco. I paid $2.99 for it. It's worth about $30 on eBay. <laughs> I found this great little um, Indian hand carved trivet. It's also very uh, dark coastal, dark cottagey to me. I paid up, up a little bit for it, $3.99. It's not worth terribly much, maybe $14, but um, it was really cool and boho, so I couldn't pass that up and got that. I got a little black basket that will go nicely with some of those fall sales I have planned on doing. Okay, we're getting into some good stuff now. Uh, Dave found these two. You saw him in the video. He found these two funky um, like misshapen margarita glasses. They're like, go drunk, go home. You're drunk. Margarita glasses, hand blown glass. I looked them up. They're worth about 25 bucks a piece. So like 50 for the pair. I mean, shut the front door, right? That's amazing. I found this pretty little lusterware glass. It's got, you know, some iridescence to it. Um, vintage, not necessarily mid-century, but vintage. And a pair of them were selling for 25 so I valued it at around $13. Yep, around 13 plus shipping. Um, something made me pick it up. I found this little copper and brass pepper shaker. Salt was nowhere to be found. Um, this is worth $10 on eBay and I paid $1.99 for it. It's lightweight too, it'll be real easy to ship. I found this beautiful little Raku bud vase. I paid $2.99 for it. I don't know if you can see that color variation and I love the um, detail at the bottom here. Isn't that pretty? Anytime you see, um, you see that metallic look to it, Anytime you see a little piece of pottery that has that metallic look to it in the thrift store, pick it up. It's Raku, okay? Raku can be worth a lot of money. This little thing here is worth about $30 or more. Um, it, it is signed on the bottom, but it's mostly like an initial type signature. So um, I don't think it's a famous artist or anything. But it was only $2.99. And I'm probably going to ask $30 for it. Uh, these were interesting. These are uh, bass reliefs um, by an artist by the name of Robin Rudd. Our, our, um, is it Rudd? R-A-A-D or Robin Rad. Um, they're both by her. They're some kind of special um, resin stone bass relief. And um, you see stuff like this on the shelf all the time, right? Like, do you pick it up? Do you look at it? Half the time, no, you just walk right by because they think it's, eh. But this turned out to be worth something, $2.99 a piece. And um, her stuff is selling in the $30 to $40 range per item. So this could be $60 worth of plaques sitting here that I picked up for $6. So that's a tenfold return for those of you that are keeping track. I got this finial here. Um, I'm hoping will work for the vintage Tiffany style base that we got the other day. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good match, you guys. So I'm going to just set that over here. We're going to hopefully get, get that lamp fixed. Who knows? Maybe a Tiffany lampshade will show up next. That would be great. Um, oh, and here comes Dave. All right, I think we got Dave settled. Um, so this was a vintage mug. 
by the artist Marge Levine. There just aren't very many of them on eBay. It was made in Japan. I paid $1.49. Sadly, there's a really big crack in it up here. So, and it's very, very crazed. So definitely um, condition issues, but I think I'm gonna list it anyways for the collector. I found this little religious mug. I have plans to prosper you. Um, I just liked it. I, I, you know, that's a, I'm gonna keep this one. That's between me and the Lord. And um, I found this really cool uh, candelabra, like, um, it's, I don't know, cast metal for sure. Very heavy with the spikes on the candle holders there. Um, not any sp particular brand, but I thought it also looked kind of dark coastal, dark cottage. So that definitely came home with me. This is interesting. Very interesting. Right here, we have a George Brihard mirrored um, ice bucket from probably the 1970s. And I have not found any comps that are octagonal. They're all round. Um, the comps I found value this at around $50. I paid $3.99 for it. It, as you can see, has um, plastic lined inside. Um, I think it's very fabulous. It's very disco. I'm probably going to talk this one up big time. I don't know. Look at how you can see my reflection in there. There are a few little um, chips out of the bottom, some condition issues. It's not pristine. You see here there's a little panel coming loose. I'm not going to try to fix it or mess with it or nothing. I'm just going to try to clean it up a little bit. And I'm probably going to list this for, I don't know, at least 50 bucks. I'm thinking. 40 to 50 We'll see. This little clock here I was interested in right away. It is embossed leather. It has Croco embossed leather on it. It's called Renaissance. They had a sticker on it, but no price. So when I got up to the register, I asked for a price on it. And she told me the price. She said $10. Um, I said um, I would check it out and bring it home and see if I can get it to run. Um, she said that her comps that she was pulling up had it priced at 60 to $75. Now I looked right away, Google brought it up for $25 on eBay. Um, but I do have a week to return it if I decide to return it. I don't know that I'll return it because it, to me, it just looks very dark academia. Okay. Like, and we're getting into that, some uh, style aesthetics here. And I think if it's hashtag properly, I'll be able to sell it and at least, you know, make my standard profit on it. I should be able to at least double my money on this piece. I do like the name Renaissance. I, I do like how it looks real vintage -y. There's even some, some um, age to it. And uh, it's got some patina. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to end up keeping this one provided it works. So there's that. The Renaissance Dark Academia clock. We have a really cool little ceramic chicken. This is the one we found together on the shelf. I have not looked the, uh, this one up yet for value purposes or anything. I think it's just a decorative piece, probably from like a home goods or something. Anyways, <laughs> that little um, expression on its face. So sweet. Uh, how do, how can I leave that behind? <laughs> Even if that just ends up in my garden, it's super cute. All right. You guys, it just keeps getting better. Look at this. I found three Villaroy and box salad plates. Oh, look at these cute little cottage plates. Well, I'll put a dollar 99 on them. You guys, these are worth 25 bucks a piece. In my hand, for $2, I'm holding a $75 set of plates. And aren't they stunning? Look at the detail in here. Look at how pretty they are. I knew right away these were something. Right? So there you go. And then sitting underneath them, <laughs> oh my God, uh, here's a Royal Dalton Baroness plate. This was uh, worth about $60, $60 68 bucks for $2.99 we paid for that. This might show up in one of my dark cottage sales. 
And then underneath that, another piece of vintage Royal Dalton. Also, uh, comp-wise, what I can find worth about $50. I think it's a rare pattern because it didn't pop up right away. But there's your, um, there's your insignia on the back. It was hard. I had to put my glasses on to read it. There you go. Royal Dalton is sitting there. Um, so I also found a bunch of cross-stitch kits that are new and complete. I mean, if you know, you know, people, that these things are can be worth a lot of money. And this one was $1.99. I looked it up. It's worth about $14. The scary clown guy here is also worth um, somewhere between $14 and $20. But look at the fun fibers he's got. I mean, I might just rob him of his fiber and leave his scary clown face um, somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, $1.99 I paid for that. I'm, I'm probably going to get a tenfold return on that. This is a Dimensions Cruel kit. This is selling somewhere between um, $30 and $40 right now online. And here's another one with a Victorian theme. Look how cute that is. I mean, that is so cottagecore. This one here right now, I think with the proper hashtags, might sell upwards of $40. This gorgeous Dimensions Cruel kit. So that's that's it in a nutshell for the hard goods. Now let's have a look through some of the fabric that I bought. This entire massive bag for $6.99. It seems to be full of a lot of upholstery style fabrics. I have a whole stack here that I started going through. There's some um, vinyl. Um, but here's a whole stack of fat quarters in a nice patriotic colors this is an actual piece of hide y'all this is look it's it's leather it's this is real hide this would make um a stunning um i want to use bad words right now because it's so cool <laughs> a stunning uh, purse or a handbag or something or even like a pair of mucklucks you could make with that um, and then this is, a uh, a whole bunch of, um, five yards of blue velvet, pan velvet fabric, pan a velvet. This is all you need to make a gorgeous goddess dress right there. And yeah, let's just keep going. <laughs> I mean, this is obviously some more upholstery style fabric. Uh, another, um, this is a full yard of Christmas fabric. That one yard of Christmas fabric is what, at retail, I would have, I got the whole bag for what that one yard cost. There's some pretty uh, looking um, twill coastal patterns here. Very pretty coastal colors on that. These are actually, oh my God. If you look at the tag, what does that say? It's Colonial Williamsburg fabric, y'all. Holy moly. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to look it up, but I'll bet it's worth something. There looks like this was something that might have got torn apart to be repurposed, but there's a bunch of little cords with it, and there's more of this. I think this would, these would make really nice little coin purses if someone was crafty and wanted to turn these into something. They have a Southwest look to them, don't they? Kind of a nice um, burnt orange color. Very nice for the fall. Um, there's lots of that in there. This, oh, this caught my eye right away. This looks Indian to me. This almost looks like Indian sari fabric, but it's not. It's a cotton. But look at that beautiful, oh, gosh, I don't even know what you call that. If you know what you call this pattern, please pop it in the comments below, all you crafters. Um, I knew once upon a time what that's called with that with those types of flowers. It might be pomegranate flowers or something. But um, this is just so funky. It looks like it'd make a nice wrap skirt. Um, okay, here's just some regular old striped upholstery type fabric. That's not too exciting. 
but even that has value on eBay. We have here some lovely um, polka dotted upholstery style fabric. This is interesting. Oh my God, I'm seeing batiks. Oh my God, there's batiks in there. <sighs> okay, calm down. Calm down, we can do this. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> this is getting to be so long. Look at that. This is, um, oh, this is Ikea fabric. Holy moly, from 2006. Oh, wow. Design Linda Sv Svensson. Ikea fabric. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh, you guys, this is a honey hole. I can't, I can't believe you're sitting here discovering it with me. This is so awesome. Look at this. This is, I have no idea what this is, but it's got a real mid-century vibes to it also. It definitely looks um, Scandinavian. Yep, there it goes. It matches. It's also Ikea and it matches the other one. So if you want to make funky um, throw pillows for the couch in that Ikea pattern. This is another thing that caught my eye when I was looking at the bag. Oh my God, look at this. Oh. I am blown away. There's peacocks or some kind of exotic birds on there. It almost looks like African dashiki type fabric. Oh my gosh. That's just lovely. This is some kind of piece of tapestry. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a pillow cover. Okay. I should have popped probably, I'm going to pop that into the um, laundry. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here's Batik. I'm seeing. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. It's a it's a handmade batik purse that someone made and I am obsessed. I love batiks. If you know me, you know. I'm a hippie all the way and I love batiks and this is quilted. Oh my god, this almost looks like something my friend Dr. Meow would have made. I wonder if this was from Dr. Meow's house. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my God, there's something in there. There's a house key. It's the key to nowhere. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm blown away right now. This is like, this bag has been so good. And look at here. I'm, I'm assuming that this is a tapestry. I'm, yes, I am 100% correct on this. This is a tapestry. Just stay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a picture of it unfolded at the end of the video. That's um, an actual like hippie tapestry for the wall. Here is some more fabulous boho hippie fabric. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys, this is like, I, I can't even guess the price on all of this fabric. I mean, we could have a couple hundred dollars here in fabric value alone that I picked up for $6. That's why I always donate at the register when I go to Waterfront Mission. They give food and meals to the homeless. Please always donate when they ask for a little donation. It's the least we can do, considering look at what I just pulled out of the Waterfront Mission, y'all. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I am, I'm blown away. Look at this gorgeous stuff. Look at that. Oh my God. How it's like stitched. It's stitched. It's so boho. It's so cool. This is definitely going to end up in like a boho co coastal boho type, um, whatnot sale for me in the near future. I'm, I'm blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. I think this might be silk. I think it's the silk taffeta. Holy moly. This is for a formal or something. Oh my gosh. It, you should see the sheen on this right now. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that sheen? That's something special. That's obviously silk taffeta or some kind of taffeta. A really pretty little um, coastal pre preppy nautical themed um, woven twill of some sort, probably a couple yards worth. Here's another um, pretty little um, swatch of some twill. This looks so almost French country colors. 
Look at that blue and that yellow. That's almost got a, a French country vibe to it. That might be a hashtag I would use. Um, here is another, this would make a great upholstery or a, um, a handmade handbag of some sort. Oh my gosh, I'm getting into some Christmas here. Um, I'm going to save the Christmas for last. Let's keep going. Oh my God. Oh, oh you guys, I want to cry. I just want to cry. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Wow. This needs to be on the back of a jean jacket or something. This is just crazy cool. Wow. It's a, like a, a Dupiani or something. Tell me what this is, people. A tapestry, a woven tapestry fabric. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have more batik scraps. Oh, you know how I love batiks. I put them in my yarns. I use them in my crafts. Oh, here's a fabulous looking uh, retro vintage 70s style um, woven fabric of some sort. This looks very almost Mary Mecco looking to me. Nice. More batik. Oh my God, more batik. Oh my God, there's more batiks. Batiks, for those that don't know, can be like uh, $7 to $10 a yard at Joann's. So that's a score. Um, here is some more really pretty African style um, or um, Indian style, I guess you might say, fabric. Oh my gosh, the whole stack is wanting to go over over here. I don't even know. Like, I don't know if I'd ever even be comfortable selling that piece of hide. But maybe it, I could gift it to somebody who's um, gifted with um, leather work. A really cute. Look at how fun. Oh, my gosh. That is so maximal. <laughs> look at all that. Big, maximal, uh, pretty, like, 1990s colored hearts. Wow, and a and a nice little piece of pink um, cloth to go with it to match. That's uh, somebody just had some. That was a major D stash that went on here, or um, some sort of estate sale. <clears throat> All right, and we have some lovely vintage Christmas fabrics. I'm not sure if they're worth a lot, but they're very pretty. Here's one with teddy bear stockings. We have to see if we can open it up. There's quite a bit here. It's called, you can see on, it says past and presents for, oh, it's Daisy Kingdom. Okay. So I know that name, Daisy Kingdom. Those, this might be worth something. People do like those Daisy Kingdom prints and they make nice little um, kits, like kind of, fabric with that you can make projects out of like kit project things and all the cute little teddy bears the jingle bells <laughs> okay wow this was this has been an adventure oh we have a some piping <laughs> some vintage piping and a whole entire bolt of green fabric I think this might just be broadcloth. Let's see. Usually it says it right on the end. Oh, there we go. 100% cotton. You know that's getting more rare these days. And uh, once upon a time was only $2.97 a yard. That tells you how vintage this is. Because, um, oh, it's Waverly Inspirations. There you go. There's a name brand. I could probably sell this the entire bolt of Waverly. I don't know if it says how much. Anyways, um, I know this is getting super long. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Um, keep on thrifting. Thrifting pays. Um, <laughs> I am, I'm seriously like just blown away right now. That was probably the pick of the century. All that I mean, not the pick of the century, finding a Lalik vase on the bottom shelf at the Goodwill last week that was worth about 250 bucks for $3.99. That might have been the pick of the century for me. The picking is good. Let's just say the picking has been good. 
thank you so much, you guys. And uh, yeah, pray for me because I got to somehow get all this stuff listed now. And um, I don't, I'm, I'm running out of time. Anyways, peace out. Mm -hmm.